prior to arriving here at Whispering Pines Golf Course in Trinity, Texas, Junior Esteban Restrepo told me it's this golf course that provides some magic for Texas Tech men's golf. They finished third when four of these juniors were freshmen two years ago. Fast forward to now, Esteban found a little magic of his own as he leads the tournament going into the third round of play tomorrow as Texas Tech sits in second place after 36 holes. feels great. Uh, I'm not looking too much at the individual part, but if me playing good helps the team being in a good spot, I'll take it. And right now after 36 holes with 50% of the golf, we're in a great spot. He played solid. It's pretty easy to coach when he hits, you know, 32 or something out of greens out of uh, 36 greens. So he played really well, hit the ball really well. Yeah, we all battled, you know, this is a course that you can make some birdies, but you're also probably going to make some bogeys. you got to just hang in there, and we did a great job of that. And I felt like every time maybe it looked like we, we made some bogeys, we fought back and, and made some birdies, and that's key is just to fight back. It's the end of the season. I've said it before. Uh, we, we play our best when, we're with, when, our backs, when our backs are against the wall. And, and you, can't, you can't win it after the first 36. You can't win it on the first day, but... You can certainly put yourself behind the eight ball, and we didn't do that today. We've got a great chance to uh, uh, move forward tomorrow. We feel like we're mentally prepared and technically good enough to win the Big 12 championship, and we just need to stay in the present and one shot at a time, and hopefully on Sunday we'll be there. Well, it'll be another early morning for the Red Raiders as they tee off on Saturday in the third round of play. You can keep up at golfstat.com or, as always, here at texastech.com or texastech.tv. Follow us along the course, though, on Twitter at Tech Athletics. For Texas Tech TV.